In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create a contact list within Outlook Online, which can save you quite a lot of time if you are regularly emailing the same group of people. Now, what this allows you to do is essentially create a list where you can add or remove users, and then when you generate a new email, instead of typing these names individually, you can search for the contact list and add that, and those people who are in that contact list will be sent the email. So let's take a look at how to do it. Now, first of all, what we need to do is on the left hand side within our Outlook account, we're going to click on people. When the people panel opens up, we can start to create our new list. Now, what we're going to do is where we have new contact, you'll notice this is a dual button. It has two different functions. At the top, we can create a new contact. But if we click on new contact with the down chevron, you'll see you have the option here to create a new contact list, which is also shift and L. So if we click on new contact list, the first thing we're asked to do is to give the list a name. So I might put something like, I don't know, monthly reports. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the email addresses of each individual who should be part of this list. So let's add this one and you'll see it gives me suggestions based on the email addresses that I have previously used within my Outlook account. So I'm just going to add, let's just do a couple of different ones. So we've got, we've got four email addresses within this particular list. Now, if we need to, we can enter a description. This is useful if you maybe just want a quick reminder as to what this list is for. So we've now entered the description. The last thing we have to do is click on create. This will now create that group and you'll see it lives within this all contact lists area here. Now, if we need to modify this list at any point, we can simply click on it and then use edit over here, or we can use the edit button at the top here. And that allows us to go back in. And for example, we can maybe remove one individual from the list by clicking on the cross and then saving the list. Now, if you want to email the users within that list right now, you can simply click on send email. And this is going to open Outlook in another tab and generate a new email with that contact list up here. Alternatively, if you are in Outlook, so let's jump back into Outlook for our email and we are going to go to new. It could be that you're already constructing the email. So I'm just going to paste in a standard sort of sample I've pulled out of chat GPT. Of course, in here, I could just put something like, I don't know, dear all. Then the subject here, let's just put Feb, uh, February's financial updates. Just watch out for that little typo. And then all we need to do is go to the to field. And rather than typing all of these individuals in, we just type the name of the contact list. So I'm going to type in monthly. And you'll see as I start to type it in, it comes up with that contact list here and that will add that contact list to the to field. Or of course, if we wanted to maybe put it in the CC or the BCC, we could drag it down. Let's leave it in the to field. Now, the final thing to note here is obviously when we click send, it is going to send this email to all of the people within that contact list. But it could be on this occasion, I want to send it to two of the people within the group, but I need to take one of them out. But I don't want to remove them from the contact list because next month I want them all to receive the email. So how do I do that? Well, what we do is we simply click on the expand option here, and then we can remove the individual from the list that we don't want to receive it this time around. So let's just drop this user out. And now that we've done that, all we need to do is click on the send button. And in this case, it's reminding us that there might be an attachment here. That's okay, I'm going to send it anyway. And it will send that email to those users who were in that contact list. Now, that's a really helpful way of saving a lot of time rather than having to remember to include everybody. And also sometimes if you have a large list of people, it's easy to forget if you're manually entering the details of the individuals. Hopefully you found that video to be useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions or if anything didn't make sense, or if you want to give me some ideas for future Outlook online videos. Finally, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, I would love it if you'd consider hitting that subscribe button to show your support. Now, if you're looking for other Microsoft Outlook tutorials, why not have a look at these ones here?